hidden under a vast green canopy just 40 minutes from Moscow's Kremlin. The secrets of the ugliest chapter from Russia's 20th century are slowly being revealed in a forest near Komunarka. We need to remember these people whose lives ended here, said the Orthodox priest as he comforted the families of victims of Joseph Stalin's great terror. 75-year-old Natalia Skripnik's uncle and her mother's first husband were murdered by Stalin in the 1930s. His paranoia that he had enemies everywhere triggered more than one million executions. In my lifetime, nothing like this must ever be repeated. This burial site was top secret during communist times, but later Russia acknowledged there was a mass grave here. Many victims of Stalin's great terror simply disappeared in the middle of the night and their families had no idea where they ended up. In fact, Stalin's henchmen had them murdered and their bodies were brought here and dumped in this mass grave. There's at least 6,000 bodies here, but possibly many, many more. Recent archaeological work has pinpointed 130 burial pits. Families have put up photographs, but it's not possible yet to say precisely whose remains are buried in each location. Galina Gatsinpina's mother's first husband, a doctor, was executed in 1938. I went around and kissed all of the trees. I thought this is where he was shot. I imagined they put him up against a tree and shot him. In a strange twist, it was actually a photo from a Nazi Luftwaffe flight in 1942 showing fresh mounds of dirt that helped lead archaeologist Mikhail Zukovsky identify specific graves. Russia's federal police, the FSB, still refuses to release all of its historical files, so crucial facts such as the real number of people murdered and buried here remain a mystery. Shouldn't they be shared? Uh, well, of course, but the idea of uh, such institutions is uh, to keep it in secret and that's all. Worryingly, a growing number of Russians prefer to think of Stalin as a war hero rather than a butcher. Major galleries still feature him in prominent displays. Alexei Nesterenko lost his father to Stalin's purges. The new generation, the opinion polls show, they know nothing at all about repressions, he said, and half of the population of Russia, they excuse it. There's a new information center at the site with stories about the victims, a destination for future generations to understand the atrocities committed just outside of their city. Chris Brown, CBC News, Moscow.